morning, everyone. Welcome to Monday Morning Prayer and Devotion. I am so sorry for the delay as I'm coming to you here almost 10 minutes late. And uh, the reason for that is because I uh, came down into the studio here this morning and realized I did not have a camera. I had left my camera over at the church yesterday. And in fact, I had packed up the boxes and everything. I opened them up this morning and they were empty. And there was just no possible way that I would be able to uh, go live on time as it was about five minutes of time to start. And uh, I've got this down to a science about how long it takes me to uh, hook the camera up and everything on Monday morning, especially after the weekend. And um, so I had to make a quick trip over to the church and, and get the camera and come back and hook it up. So here we are. I know some of you have probably already moved on because of your obligations for today and you'll have to catch up with us later. Uh, but I'm thankful for each of you now who are finding us. And um, again, I apologize for the inconvenience that my forgetfulness has caused you this morning. We do have a praise report to share with you today. Uh, Pastor Mark Tipton had a breakthrough yesterday at his church. Seven were baptized and five of them were from uh, the homeless community that he has been serving. We've been praying about daily, and so we're so thankful to see those results uh, beginning to manifest there through that ministry. In our prayer request today, let's, of course, continue to remember those who are battling COVID-19 and, and going through uh, post-COVID recovery with some issues. Don Bowie, Gary and Donna, Catherine, Sister Dorothy Cook, Brother Erickson, Andy Burnett, Donna Luttrell, Del Sifford, Pastor Del Holman's mother, and James Weininger, uh, all of those uh, dealing with the effects of COVID still. We want to pray for continued recovery, of course, from this pandemic as we are nearing the one-year mark. Uh, and, of course, we know it's probably already reached the one-year mark, but as far as the effects here locally, it really uh, began to affect us in the month of March, and we're almost to that anniversary date. So let's keep believing for recovery uh, in, in every quarter of our economy and, of course, everyone's health. And we need to keep praying for those in the nursing homes and those who are shut into their homes today. Uh, in physical needs today, let's pray for Abel Ray, Baby Elsie, Magnolia, Abram Page, Sophia. All these children need prayer for various uh, illnesses and disorders. Brent Moore and James Graham have back issues. Rue is preparing for a double lung retransplant. Pam Pulliam's daughter Jenny has osteoporosis of the spine and hips. Elder brother and sister Perkins need continued prayers for healing, strength, and encouragement. Let's keep praying for Tim Workman, Beulah Ziegler, Russ, and Ron Bryant as they are dealing with the effects of Parkinson's. Tim Workman and Emily Stanley have diabetes. Kelly has been battling a severe staph infection. Karen Pratt's father has an aneurysm in his aorta. Robbie Northrup and Kendra Ortiz battle with COPD. Michael Parrott, Terry Adams, and Marsha Moore have stomach issues. Renee has hip and knee problems. Brent Smith, Everett Hart, and missionary Robin Schutz's father have heart problems. Ronald Clinton has been having some cardiac issues, and his daughter reported and asked for prayers over the weekend as he had to actually be admitted to the hospital for some testing. Michelle Walker's grandpa, Gerald Hudson, is recovering from recent heart surgery. So let's continue to remember all these who have heart issues today. Sister Mara Sullivan has an autoimmune disease. Leslie Pride suffers with dementia. Cheryl LaChance has chronic liver and stomach issues. Brother Marty DeLotte and Brother Riley March are battling with MS. Bobby Larmy has a blockage in an artery at the base of his brain. Jen Marlin needs healing of dystonia. Debbie Biddick's friend Shirley and Charlotte Kincaid both have kidney problems. And Bonnie Pulaski, Roxanne Carson, Annette, and Terry Adams' grandson Ethan all have health issues. Uh, those who are going through pregnancy or are desiring to have children, let's pray for Matt and Michaela who are trying to start a family. And then for Sally's daughters and Beth Wheatley's daughter Mindy who are uh, going through pregnancy right now. Austin and Alyssa uh, are getting ready to have a child and they found out through testing that the child has a heart defect and will require surgery as soon as he is born. So let's remember unborn baby Brantley today. 
those who are battling cancer, let's not forget to pray for Christy Smith, Lorelei, Jenna, Tucker, Brother Kirk, Wanda Barnes, Robert Wicks, Brother Steve Williford, Claire, Kim Stinson, Linda Fox, Josh Soberg, John Fitzgerald, Dwayne Lewis, a friend of Terry Adams, Marsha Moore's family member, Edie Percival, Diane Escher, Bercy Gibbs, Ari Bowers, Michael Boland, Phyllis Robinson. We need to pray for continued recovery today for Sylvia Larimore's daughter, Nick Searcy, Johnny Ray Hagee, Linda Brown, Britt Moore's mother, Shirley Garner, Allison, Karen Pratt's mother, Gerald Geely, and Willow. Spiritual needs today include Barbara Owens, Haley, Evie, Rose, Carl, and Connor, all needing salvation, Sylvia's family, Tasha Ray's husband and her sister, Judy and Mike Williams' daughter, Jennifer, Judy's brother, Louis Medlin, who needs salvation. Uh, let's continue to pray for Caroline Sexton's family, Pam Pulliam's children, Peggy Fiedler and her family, Beulah's family, Josiah, Marsha Moore's children and granddaughter, Jennifer and Brenda's family, Mark and Caitlin, our Mingo Job Corps students, Terry Adams' children, Michelle Clark and family, Carmen's daughter Grace, Art Chandler, Lori Arbo's mother, Debbie's daughter Jamie and family, as well as Debbie's niece. Uh, those who have family issues that we are praying with them about, Cheryl LaChance and family, Angela Schweitzer's family, and I just want to stop there and say that uh, Angela has experienced a breakthrough in her situation as well, but we're going to keep praying for uh, the fullness of that answer to prayer to come into being. Debbie Biddick's daughters, Jessica and Jamie, need prayer for their relationships. Grace's best friend's parents are going through divorce. Annette and Dave have some marital issues. Marsha Moore has a family situation, and Mindy needs continued prayers for family issues. We also need everyone to be praying for our Latvia missions team. Several of them have been sick this past week and need a healing touch, specifically Luke, Larissa, and Mason Havens, Dennis, Amy, and Elliot Euchre, Abigail and Molly Trapani, and Krista Sara. So let's remember that missions team today. I continue praying for all those who are struggling mentally and emotionally. Let's pray for Patrick today for his uh, continued miracle that is in progress. Nathan battling depression, brother and sister Woody's family needing comfort, healing, and restoration, Phil and Karen Sampson needing continued prayer, and of course, let's continue praying for Brother Mark Tipton as he ministers to the homeless today, and we're just thanking God for that tremendous breakthrough that was experienced there um, yesterday, and what a day yesterday was. Our church service was just phenomenal, just a great move of God from beginning to end, and uh, I noticed there was 42 comments during the service live, several new viewers um, watching the service, and we're just so thankful for what God is doing. I want to take you to the word of the Lord quickly here this morning uh, in Luke chapter 4, and then I'm going to read one other scripture to you as well as we continue our talk about worship. And I welcome each and every one of you. I see more of you have found us here as we have gone along. And if you uh, would like the explanation for my tardiness this morning, just make sure you go back once we finish the live stream and watch the beginning of the broadcast. Luke chapter 4, verse number 8, I believe it is. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Now let's look at Colossians chapter 3, verse 23 and 24. And whatsoever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord, and not unto men, knowing that of the Lord you shall receive the reward of the inheritance, for ye serve the Lord Christ. And I want to talk to you this morning about another way that we worship God. We've talked about adoring Him and, and we've talked about worshiping Him through music. But today I want to talk to you about worshiping God through service and understanding the, uh, the magnitude of what our service to God actually is. 
When you think about what the Lord needs from us, uh, that's a big fat zero. There's nothing that God actually needs from us, but there are things that he wants from us. God is complete without you, you or I offering up our worship. He's still going to be God, but he does desire for us uh, to serve. And much of that service and that worship to God is exhibited in the way that we uh, minister to others, not just how we minister to the Lord. Uh, it can be just in your everyday um, service to your family and just doing the things that you're supposed to do and being faithful. And it can be ministering to others that you see in need. And uh, Paul wrote here to the Colossians, and he's speaking of ministry really to people, but he said, whatever you do, do it as unto the Lord and not to men. Understand that you are serving the Lord Jesus Christ when you are doing these things, even for other people. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 1 says that the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. And so we have a tremendous responsibility uh, to serve the Lord and to serve him in the way that we uh, deal and minister with others. So I want you to remember that today, uh, that God has equipped us to serve. And in order to serve him, we have to serve the people around us. Amen. Because God does not need anything from us. He's not lacking but he does see the lack all around us. And we need to remember those people around us are those who uh, God has called us to serve him by serving them. Remember Jesus said that if you've done it to the least of these, the least of humanity, you have done it unto me. And we may wonder what we have to offer uh, to someone. Well, God has equipped us, as I just read, God has equipped us with distinct spiritual gifts, and uh, we need to be using those, be sensitive to the Spirit, and use those to be a blessing to someone. And when we do that, understand that is worship unto the Lord, because we're doing those things not as unto men, but when we do it to the least of these, we are doing it unto the Lord. Amen. So let's worship today through service. Let's worship God. Show our dedication to him by looking for opportunities to minister to others who are in need. Amen. Let's pray together. Let's believe God to move in our needs this morning. Lord Jesus, we come to you in your great name today, believing, Lord, for you to move in every situation. But God, before we begin to ask you for these things, you already knew what we was going to ask. You already knew what needs that we had before we even have an opportunity to ask. But God, we just want to rededicate ourselves this morning to your service, to the service of others. Lord, let our worship be pure today as we minister to needs that we see around us. Let our attention be drawn. Let our senses be heightened today, God, to those who are suffering, for those who are discouraged. Lord, to those uh, who are in some kind of spiritual or physical need, understanding, God, that we have your message of truth and we have your spirit within us that we can minister to someone else's need today. And we pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you would just help us to see those doors of opportunity. And we do these things as unto you. We do it as worship unto you. For truly your name is great, Lord, and you are greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. You are the mighty God. You are so great. You are so wonderful. We believe you for healings today, Lord, for these who are dealing with COVID-19 and going through recovery right now. We believe, God, for healing of our economy. We pray today for recovery from this pandemic. Help us, Lord, not to forget the lessons that we've learned through this time. And, Lord, this heightened dependence that we've felt upon you. Oh, God, we pray, Lord, you would help us to take the good things and to employ them, Lord, forevermore as we serve you. Hallelujah. Help us, God, today to do your will. We pray, God, for those in the nursing homes and those who are shut in today, for your encouragement and strength for each of them. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray for each of these who have physical needs this morning. Lord, each name that we've called out before you today, God, we're believing for their healing, whether it's heart problems or rare disorders or back problems, whether it's transplant issues or problems with bones and joints today. 
Lord, those who just need strength in their body, those who are battling Parkinson's and diabetes and infection in their body. We pray, God, for those who have blocked arteries and, and who are suffering with aneurysms, with lung problems, with stomach issues today. Oh, God, we know that you're able to minister healing right now. You took stripes upon your back for our healing. You did that willingly, and so we know that it's your will for us to be healed today. It's your will, God, for us to be delivered because the chastisement of our peace was upon you. Hallelujah. With your stripes, we are healed, and we give you the praise for it today. We pray for those who are suffering with mental disorders and mental anguish today, those, God, who are, who are discouraged, those, Lord, who are struggling emotionally. We pray, God, that you would minister healing to them as well. We pray healing for the backslider, for your word says uh, that you will heal our backslidings. We recognize, God, that that is illness just as much a, as a physical need. There is a spiritual sickness today that requires healing. Heal hearts today. Heal the souls of men today, we pray, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let every health issue be resolved through your power today. Let every pregnancy complication and issue be overcome today in your mighty name. We pray, Lord, for those who are battling cancer, Lord, that you administer your healing touch to them. In Jesus' name, every name that's on our list today that we've called out in our prayer request, whether they're going through chemo right now or they're trying to recover strength or, or they're looking for signs of hope, God, we believe today for complete healing for each one of them. In Jesus' name, we pray for continued recovery today. Lord, for all those who are battling long-term situations, we believe for Nick and Johnny Ray and Sylvia's daughter and Linda Brown. We believe, Lord, for Britt's mother and for Shirley Garner, for Jennifer's niece and for Karen's mother and for Gerald Yeely and for Willow. In Jesus' name, we bring the names of our family and friends and acquaintances to you and co-workers, Lord, those who have spiritual needs today. Move in their lives, Lord. Touch Barbara and Haley and Evie, Rose and Carl and Connor. We pray for Sylvia's family, for Adam, for Heather, for Judy and Mike's daughter, Jennifer, for Judy's brother, Lewis, today. Lord, you're able to save to the uttermost. Let there be a mighty revival spring forth, God. Hallelujah. From the north, the south, the east, and the west. Let there be no area that's unaffected, God, by the downpour of your spirit. Rain upon us today, God. In Jesus' name, we pray for Caroline's family for Pam Pulliam's children, for Peggy Fiedler and her family. We pray for Beulah's family and for Josiah, for Marcia's children and granddaughter, for Jennifer and Brenda's family, for Mark and Caitlin, for our Job Corps students, for Terry's children and for Michelle Clark and her children today. We pray for Grace, Lord. We pray for Art. We pray for Lori's mother, for Debbie's daughter and her family, as well as Debbie's niece today. We believe, God, that you're moving in these family issues. Touch Jessica and Jamie today. Move in their relationships, God. Move for Angela's family, Lord. We thank you for what you've already done. We pray for Cheryl's family this morning, Lord, for for um, Grace's parents, Lord, and for Grace's friend as this family is being racked by divorce today. God, we pray you would move in that situation. Touch Annette and Dave and Lord, move in their marriage, move in Marsha Moore's family need today, and Mindy's family situation, and we give you the praise for all these things today. We hold up our Latvia missions team today, believing for healing for each one on that team that's been affected by illness, for Luke, Larissa, and Mason, for Dennis, Amy, and Elliot, and Abigail, and Molly, and Krista. We believe for complete healing right now. In Jesus' name, as quickly as sickness has spread through that team, we believe for your healing, God, to spread through that team right now. Let your virtue flow in the mighty name of Jesus. We believe for Patrick and Nathan today for their deliverance. We believe for Brother and Sister Woody's family, Lord, to be comforted, to receive healing and restoration. We pray for Phil and Karen today, God, that you would move and supply their needs. And we pray for Brother Mark Tipton, God, that you would give him favor today as he works with that homeless community. Let that revival continue 
In Jesus' name, we pray these things, and we give you the thanks, Lord. We give you the glory. Amen. Amen. Thank you for being a part of prayer ministry today. What a privilege it is for us to pray together, and we're going to continue to do this, amen, and continue to minister to those needs around us because we understand that this is service to God as well as to our fellow man. This is a way that we worship him. I'll see you tomorrow morning, Lord willing. If I don't have some other mishap, I'll be back here at 730 tomorrow morning, ready to worship God with you again. I will see you then. Amen.